The city that gave the world Prince and Bob Dylan is one of the Midwest's cultural and economic powerhouses and shares the Twin Cities metropolitan area with its near neighbor, St. Paul. Few big cities are blessed with as much public parkland as Minneapolis. Water is everywhere, at 13 lakes, the roaring Mississippi River, wetlands, and waterfalls. What's fantastic is that you can immerse yourself in this environment, hopping from lake to lake in the chain of lakes. St. Anthony Waterfall on the Mississippi provided the impetus for the largest water-powered milling facility in the world in the 19th century. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Minneapolis so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Lake Harriet. In the 19th century, the lock shores were left free of development and remained public property. The land around Brownie Lake, Cedar Lake, Lake of Isles, Bee Makaska, and Lake Harriet merges into one regional park. At that time, the chain of lakes was lyrically described as like a necklace of diamond in settings of emerald. On warm summer days, you can pack a lunch and pedal off in search of sandy beaches and places to grill, go fishing, take picnics, or go bird watching. At number 9 is the Minnehaha Regional Park. A patch of untamed wilderness minutes from downtown Minneapolis, Minnehaha Regional Park is on the lower reaches of the Minnehaha Creek. This 22-mile tributary of the Mississippi winds through the city for 22 miles via several lakes. About three-quarters of a mile before the creek empties into the Mississippi, it plummets down the 16-meter Minnehaha Falls. This waterfall freezes during winter cold snaps when you can experience the thrill of walking behind that curtain of ice. At number 8, Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. The 300-acre Como Park, first landscaped in the 1870s, has a lake, public art, picnic shelters, sports amenities, and many family attractions like a little amusement park and mini golf course. But what makes the park indispensable is its excellent zoo and the great conservatory, all the better considering they have free admission. At number 7, Minnesota State Capitol. St. Paul is the capital of Minnesota, and on a sprawling landscape near the top of a hill stands the intricate Beaux-Arts building housing the Minnesota Senate, Minnesota House of Representatives, and the offices of the Attorney General and Governor. Looking back from this monument's steps, a clear view over downtown St. Paul to the southeast. Completed in 1905, Minnesota State Capitol was designed by Cass Gilbert, the man behind New York's Woolworth Building, and takes design cues from the Vatican's St. Peter's Basilica. At number 6 in our list, North Loop. All you see north and west of 1st Avenue North on the northern fringes of downtown Minneapolis is North Loop or the Warehouse District, two names for one place. From the turn of the 20th century, evocative brick warehouses have found new vocations as shops, night spots, and dining destinations. You can catch live comedy and cutting-edge entertainment at Acme Comedy Company and the Lab Theater. There's live music and after-hours fun at the Fine Line Music Cafe and Gay 90s.
At number 5, Boom Island Park. Somewhere else to soak up the scenic beauty of the Mississippi River in urban Minneapolis, Boom Island Park has a waterfront trail, picnic areas, a boat launch, and a canoe rental rack. The park is on a former river island, once used as a logging sorting station, that joined to the east bank after the back channel filled in. At number 4, St. Anthony Falls. In the 19th century, this waterfall was the beating heart of the flour milling capital of the world, powering flour mills, sawmills, and textile mills. Overuse and poor engineering of these water management systems caused severe damage from around 1860 to 1887. The sophisticated design of locks and dams dates from the middle of the 20th century. To the Dakota people, the waterfall had been known as Mira or Almina, and the St. Anthony Falls Historic District area recognizes the site's importance. At number 3 in our list, U.S. Bank Stadium. A new home field for the Minnesota Vikings was ready in 2016 at the cost of more than $1 billion. The U.S. Bank Stadium is the first NFL venue since Detroit's Ford Field to have a fixed roof, making it suitable for major events beyond NFL, like the NCAA Final Four and the ESPN X Games. Super Bowl 52 occurred here in 2018 when the Eagles defeated the Patriots. In fall and winter, you can join the hordes in their Helga hats to watch the Vikings battling to add to their 20 division and four conference championships and reach their first Super Bowl since 1977. At number 2, Basilica of St. Mary. When the time came to build a new church for the Minneapolis Roman Catholic Congregation, St. Paul and Minneapolis Archdiocese recruited the Franco-American architect Emmanuel Louis Masqueray. In a lavish Beaux-Arts style composed of Vermont granite, the Basilica of St. Mary was constructed over seven years up to 1914. The barrel vaulted nave is jaw-dropping, rising to 25 meters, more than St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Maybe most striking of all is the dome, 42 meters above the sanctuary and crested by a lantern that floods the refuge with an ethereal light. Check out the number one places in our list, Chain of Lakes Regional Park. Fair to say that Minneapolis's lakes are a feather in the city's cap. In the 19th century, the lock shores were left free of development and remained public property. At that time, the chain of lakes was lyrically described as like a necklace of diamond and settings of emerald. There's a lot of ground to cover in the chain of lakes regional park, so renting a bike from one of the branches of Will Fun Bike Rentals is a good idea. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Minneapolis. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.